What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another weekly live stream from Scalar Learning. We are continuing to tackle SAT math problems from Khan Academy. And today we are tackling, in particular, the operations with rational expressions uh, level two. And so we're going to get started right now. Here we go. As always, I'm seeing these problems for the first time. If I look a little groggy, uh, it's because I am very groggy, really tired, but it's all good. We're going to power through and get these SAT problems to you. Again, I'm seeing these problems for the first time, so that's part of the fun. Uh, that's, that's it. Let's do it. Here we go. Operations with rational expressions. All right. Whoa, this is crazy. And you see on level two, uh, compared to level one, these are much more difficult, much more involved. So look, this is a giant fraction. Don't let it intimidate you. It looks insane. But remember, this is really a division problem. So at the end of the day, it's 7m squared. Fractions are just division problems after all. We have 59m plus 24 over m squared plus 4m minus five divided by and see it's just divided by that denominator all right the key here is to make sure that i'm not making any mistakes with what i write down so look how i'm going to be very careful and check 7m squared plus 59m plus 24 over m squared plus 4 minus 5 yep m squared plus 4 minus 32 3m plus 15 perfect now we're going to do keep switch keep change flip this is what we do when we're dividing fractions. We really turn it into a multiplication problem. So this guy is going to stay the same right here. Oops. Plus 59m plus 24 over m squared plus 4m minus 5 times. Now the reciprocal of this is, so we're going to keep, we're going to change to multiplication. We're going to flip this to 3m plus 15 over m squared plus 4m minus 32. Now, what I say is as a general matter, if you're not sure what to do at this point and you see quadratics, just factor instinctually. Just factor and see what happens because these look factorable, so I'm going to factor. And we are going to get this top one's going to be pretty tough to factor because we got these crazy coefficients. We can use something called the x method. So I'm going to show you how that works. All right, first make sure you can't pull anything out of this and you can't. So I'm gonna put my A terms on the top, set like right, this is giving me my A terms from this first expression. A times C, which is, a this is a calculated question, but I can do it in my head, 140 plus 28, 168. And then my B term down here. And now I need two terms that multiply to 168 and add to 59. Um, I am thinking it's going to be 3 and 56 because it's 18, 1, 15, 16. Yeah, 3 and 56, and they add to 59. <clears throat> okay, so I go 3, 56. Doesn't matter which one goes where. Then we reduce this just like it's a fraction. 7 over 3 can't reduce this one. We can reduce to 1 and 8. Now, what does this mean? This means that th these are my x terms. And up here, this and this. So watch, this now reduces, this now factors to x plus eight, right? One x plus eight times seven x plus three. And if you're unsure if that worked, you can quickly do a mental foil and you'll see that it becomes seven x squared plus three x plus 56 x makes that 59. Oh, this is m, excuse me. Let's get the variables right. Same difference, and then plus 24. Boom, factor correctly. Now let's do this guy. This one's easier to factor. We start with the m here and here. What multiplies to negative 5 and adds to 4? That is plus 5 and minus 1 times. I'm going to pull out a 3 out of this that we can factor 3 times m plus 5. And lastly, down here, what multiplies to negative 3, 2 and adds to 4. That is m plus 8, m minus 4. 8 times negative 4, negative 32. 8 plus negative 4, positive 4. Now it's factored. 
Now we cross simplify if we can. And it looks like we can because we got an n plus 5 on the top and bottom. Boom, boom. We got an n plus 8 here and here. And that's about it. So now when we now when we consolidate everything, it becomes 3 times 7m plus 3 on top over m minus 1 times m minus 4 on the bottom. We can't do any better than that. And that should be our answer. So let's see what we got over here. It looks like it's C because what they oops what they did was they distributed this three into the seven M and into the nine. So oh sorry, C, excuse me. There's our answer. Boom. Dunzos. Alright. Again, another brutal one just like this. So first of all, I'm gonna I'm just gonna convert this straight away to the multiplication problem. So it's this top part times the reciprocal of this bottom part. So it's negative x squared minus 2x plus 3 over x cubed minus 3x squared plus 2x times, make sure to flip it, 5x squared goes on top plus 25x over 3x squared plus 24x plus 45. Okay, so this top part becomes, and I hate that negative that's no that's that's always annoying on that first term I'm gonna just factor out a negative one wait should I do that let's see I'm gonna try it first and see what happens so I'm gonna factor out a negative one and we got x squared plus 2x minus 3 right literally flipping the sign on all of these over on the bottom I'm gonna first thing I'm gonna factor out of x x times x squared minus 3x plus 2. By the way, this negative 1, you don't have to factor it out, at least not yet. Uh, it doesn't matter if you do it or not at the beginning. I'm just doing this so it's easier to factor. And then I can always multiply it back in or whatever. Uh, on this side, clearly that five is, fi a 5x is going to come out here. So we got an x remaining inside plus 5. You can check that's right because that becomes 5x squared and 25x, and that works. Over... Now this, first we can factor a 3 out of the whole thing, so it becomes 3 times x squared plus 8x plus 15. Okay, now we're ready to factor. So the top one becomes what multiplies to negative 3 and adds to 2. That's a positive 3 and negative 1. Over, this becomes... What adds, m multiplies to 2 and adds to negative 3? Well, that's minus, negative 2 and negative 1. And over here, we've got, this is good on top, 5x times x plus 5. And then on the bottom, we've got x and x. What multiplies to 15 and adds to 8? That would be 5 and 3. Now we start canceling. This is going to be really good. It looks like a lot's going to cancel out. That's gone. That's gone that's gone with that that's gone with that this x goes away with this x oops make that a little clear it goes away with this x so now what do we have on the left we only have a negative one times a five which is negative five and on the bottom we have x minus two times three and if we distribute this we don't know this is the same as negative five over three x minus six and that's it Negative 5, and there, there we go. It's right here. Yeah, perfect. Let's make sure that's right. Yes. Amazing. These are some of my favorite problems to do. I really enjoy that process of uh, factoring and canceling out for some reason. I don't know why. Now let's do this one. Which expression is equivalent to the sum above? So what are we doing here? Now we are not... We are simplifying, but we're doing kind of a different thing. We're doing fraction addition. And really what we're talking about here is trying to combine these guys uh, into one fraction. So the first thing, again, if you're not sure how to do that, and because what you, obviously you, we need common denominators to add these, but it's not so clear how to make them common denominators. So what I say is first thing first, you see quadratics, just factor by instinct and see what happens. So I'm going to factor that denominator of m squared minus 24mn plus 144n squared. And I know I got an m here. I got an m here to make that m squared. To make this, it's actually going to be 
12n and 12n and since this is positive they're both going to be minus now how do i know this is right because if i redistribute i get m squared here i get a negative 12mn another negative 12mn which add to that negative 24mn there and then we got the 144n squared from this guy this is actually a perfect square but we'll get back to that in a second then we've got 2n over this guy is ooh this is a difference of squares so this is actually going to be just like this except we've got let me show you what it looks like so that 12n we still got a 12 and difference of squares are even easier to factor we know it's a difference of squares because literally it's a perfect square minus a perfect square so it becomes the square root of the first here uh, the square root of the second here and then one is plus one is minus that's a difference of squares now look these are almost the same denominators but a little different to make them the same well this one this one has an n plus 12 n so we need that over here get our least common multiple but I gotta add that to the multiply that against the top. I can't just multiply it against the bottom. It would change the fraction fundamentally. Here we just need another m minus 12n. M minus 12n. All right, there we go. Now we have this nice common denominator down here. And I'm going to rewrite the common denominator now as m minus 12n squared, because there's two of these times m plus 12 n and you can see from a quick glance that's what they did in their answers so this is going to make it easier and then over this is going to be let's see 5 m squared because now i'm consolidating this as one fraction 5 n squared plus 60 m n plus 2 m n oops minus 24 n squared which is this and now let's consolidate these two this becomes 5 m squared plus 62 m n minus 24 n squared over m oops minus 12 n squared times m plus 12 n and that's it right there so let's see which one it is we need a 60 in the middle that's not at 62 this looks like our winner otherwise all the denominators are almost the same no this denominator is wrong that denominator is wrong okay so um you can actually didn't even need to do all that work you could have just knocked these out by because they're all the wrong denominator except for this one this is the only one that's correct with the denominator so if you notice that you can save a little bit of time but that's how you do the full answer and there you go two questions left all right now same thing to reduce this we need to factor so i'm going to straight away factor that top part we got an x we got an x what multiplies the negative 63 adds the positive 2 that's a positive 9 and a negative set uh negative 7 negative 63 adds to 2 boom and the bottom difference of squares like i just said so we take the square root of the first x square root of the second seven and one is plus one is minus what can we cross off here boom boom and our final answer is x plus nine over x plus seven um did that work here we go last question same idea as question number three we need to make common denominators so first i'm going to factor because that will give us the insight we need something that multiplies to negative 20 and adds to negative one so that would be negative five and positive four here we need something that multiplies to 20 and adds to nine which is positive five and positive four so what's this missing from this if we want an lcm that we need an x plus five over here x plus five cool and then this one needs that extra x minus five let's see if i can uh let's see here i'm gonna move this over slightly make a little bit of room x minus five over here you see why i'm doing that because now they all contain the same three binomials the order of the multiplication again doesn't matter but it's because two times three is three times two that's the commutative property 
But now we have the same denominators, and now let's combine. We can basically, if we if we combine everything now, it would be the denominator would be x plus four, and then if I remultiplied these, it would be x squared minus twenty five, right? That different because this is simply a difference of squares, so I'm recombining it over. Boom, boom, three x plus fifteen plus like that x minus 5 and then we combine like terms and we get 4x 15 minus 5 is 10 x plus 4 times x squared minus 25 like that all right and it looks like it's B oops what's going on here oh I think my my mouse is going crazy okay 4x plus 10, x squared minus 25, x plus 4. Yes, I'm just carefully, meticulously checking my answers. Yes, that looks good. Hold on. Did I do that correctly? I'm just trying to, it's throwing me off because I see an x minus 5 squared. I'm just making sure that's not what we're looking for. And it's definitely not, right? Because we had an x minus 5 and an x plus 5. Um, Yes, yes, yes. Okay, I think we're good. Boom. All right. There it is. So there's your SAT Khan Academy weekly math problems. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure to like the video. That would be a huge help for me and a huge help for the channel. And also, if you want to see these every week and get more information on mathematics, specifically related to the SAT and all other things, make sure to subscribe right away. And we've got new math music videos coming out on the regular. Uh, we're going to soon be uploading all of the awesome podcast interviews that we've been doing with cool ed tech companies, uh, education, YouTubers, all that good stuff. So make sure to subscribe. Got tons of content coming your way on the regular. That's it. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.